What's up guys, welcome back to another Fortnite This is going to be a more talkative Talkative video since it's something I never went over And something that was uh, kind of brought to my attention while I was helping someone <laughs> um, I did the typical cliche Well, I'm a YouTuber, I could help you uh, Type <laughs> thing And uh I fully disclosed, you know, my videos aren't very good, <laughs> uh, but, you know, I try to put the information out there, especially on this game, for those who may not know, for those who are interested in the game, stuff like that, and want to, uh, you know, broaden their horizon about the game, you know what I mean, want to know more, want to be able to do more, play better, that sort of thing, I'm not saying that I'm the best, but uh, I've been playing this game for a while, so... You know, if I could help people, then, uh, you know, I'm happy with that. But, uh, one thing I never went over is, uh, heroes. And I don't mean, like, the abilities. I just mean a general, uh, hero acquisition, I guess you could say. Like, how to stock up on heroes. How to eventually get, you know, mythic heroes. Obviously, this one, uh, he comes around, Master Ken comes around the store every so often. Uh, I think it's like 3,200 every time it comes out. Um, some characters are quest heroes, like still Carlos is a quest, is a quest, uh, you get him in the canny quest line. Um, who else? Grenader is not a quest hero. Zenith, Bladestorm and Force, I don't believe is a quest hero. Mega Base isn't a quest hero. Quick Draw is not a quest hero. So a lot of these, uh, all of these mythics I got aren't quest heroes. Um, some of them are just heroes you get from the shop, or you can roll from the llamas. I think Black Guardian is a quest hero. Uh, there are a lot of heroes that are quest heroes, obviously. Uh, some are not. Clip is a quest hero. Bookshot Raptor you get at level 100 of your collection book. This is, I believe, a quest hero. This is a quest hero. Um, there are a lot of heroes you can get from quests, but it's um, somewhat the same to how you would gather survivors. Um, obviously, if you're low level and you could afford the 50, then uh, you know, stock up on your heroes, even if they're green. As I said, you're gonna you're gonna work your way up eventually, but uh, getting a broad selection of heroes is probably better for you, just so you can put things together like uh, like hero builds and stuff. Uh, you do have to upgrade them. I believe that is something you definitely have to do if you want your heroes to unlock their abilities. So uh, obviously, you're gonna have to play for missions that will give you. XP and or give you training manuals to get that sort of stuff. So um, to collect heroes, obviously it's 50. You're gonna want to pay attention to your quests. If you have main quests, try to do those main quests. Um, you can do them public. I don't usually play public missions because uh, past experiences you wouldn't have a um, you wouldn't have another team member really helping you. Or really contributing too much to the mission. And, um, you know, if you're new, it's your only objective, really. Especially if you, you know, genuinely want to play the game. It's your only, uh, it's your only thing that you want to do is you want to, you know, play the quest to get it over with and hopefully unlock better stuff. But, um, weekly challenges, I doubt. At low level, you'd have too much weekly challenges. Maybe just this mission alert one, or maybe not, because it's a War 40 zone, <laughs> or, or that one. Um, you do get daily quests, I don't, I don't think everyone will get V-Bucks, but uh, I know you get x-ray tickets. So, you can get x-ray tickets, that's an easy couple of llamas, which, you know, could help you in the long run. Um, there is endurances. That's mainly just for battle XP, and if you 
are in desperate need of lightning in a bottle, I guess, and you can do that for that. Uh, it does come with evolution material, which is which is all right, uh, along with the battle pass XP. Uh, repeatable quests are maybe what you may look for, just to get gold or just to get reperk. If you don't have any other options, obviously, to get those, because um, in high-level areas, if I can get to a high-level area, <laughs> um, they have, like, the, not that one, they have, uh, like, five times lightning get a bottle, or five times schematic, five times drops of rain, all this other stuff, so see, look at that, four times free perk, so it's, um, you know, in some cases, it's pretty easy just to get through missions like this uh, um, uh, especially you know with the teammate or alone if you're playing for a while then you could do it alone um, you guys not do some of these missions alone but uh, in that similar way it's basically going to be reliant on your llamas and how many you can buy which is kind of reliant on your daily missions but there are quests. I'll show you these ones. These are uh, what are they called. Um, I forget what they're called, but uh, they give bonus rewards for that twenty-four hour period. But it's also reliant on your um, the missions just changed for me. But uh, but yeah, it's on a twenty-four hour clock. They change. Some will give you candy, some will give you, you know, extra XP, some will give you survivors, traps, that sort of thing. So it's always good if you're in, you know, if you're in the Stonewood area, you'll know that it's a special or limited time mission reward because it's got a clock on it and it's got a, usually it's got a skull indicating that it's a, it's going to be an epic mini boss mission. So it's, it's going to be more difficult than your usual missions, but... It's going to give a bit better rewards. Obviously, this one gives, you know, 5 drops of rain, 50 candy, 440 schematic XP, which is if that's something you need, then you can do that mission and you can get that limited time reward only once. You can only get the limited reward once. So, I suggest you play through the easiest uh, limited time ones first, like this one. Obviously, then you can get a... Those may not be the best weapons, but if it's your only option, the shotgun, the Panthera, Panther, sorry, the Panther, I don't know what I was talking about, the Panther, um, that's an okay shotgun for a low level, a low level player. There's nothing to be ashamed about. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not going to be a legendary weapon off the, off the bat, but, um, you know, you start where you start and if you want to collect sort of the best items you can. Uh, level them up to gold as well. So, if you want the wall launcher, you can get the wall launcher. You can upgrade its its uh its skills and say its perks, and then you can level it up to legendary. Or you can get lucky with a uh, a pull from the llamas. Sorry, the llamas, <laughs> the llamas, and get a legendary or epic weapon. As you can see, there's only 50 left. They do reset in a 24-hour period. Just like the missions, they're not resetting like um, like the loot in the item shop. See, 23 hours, meaning that it's going to reset tomorrow. And it, that is on a, a weekly cycle. Every Wednesday is when it changes over. And I haven't bought any of the uh, resources. I don't have a lot of gold right now. Uh, I recently spent like 10000 on this and then like 1200 or so on this. Same amount for this, and then this was 700. So I, I spent a good bit of gold, um, already. So I'm down for. I'm down on gold, basically. But in terms of uh, hero gathering, obviously it's gonna be your llamas. It won't always be a melee llama. Other times it'll be a different sort of llama that offers different sorts of uh, stuff. Um. Like, I'll buy this and we'll figure out what's behind it. I have a ton of uh, x-ray tickets. I don't really use them. But, you see, you scrap all those. If you want to, obviously, you can keep this weapon. Scrap the rest. And you can exclude it if you want. You can decline. And then, you know, unselect it. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna select the recycle. I don't need it. Okay, it's another mineral llama. So maybe it's it's all uh, mineral llamas. <laughs> Oops. But uh, basically, if you have 400, then you know then obviously you would have a chance to get any one of these uh, legendary weapons. I'd probably go for this one if I was new. This is a cool sort of. Uh, it can be a faster. Uh, faster swing speed, which is like a fire rate. You know what I mean? You, you you shoot faster, in the fire rate sense, and this one you swing faster. Um, I think this one also comes with life leech, but it's energy as well, which is good because eventually you're gonna start fighting enemies that are not just uh, physical, I guess you could say. You can get fire, you can get water, you can get nature, and uh, you're gonna want energy weapons from then on. Because having, uh, at least in my opinion, having weapons that are element specific is kind of a downgrade like this one. It's a vacuum two weapon, so it's only going to be nature. She's going to be doing a lot less damage against fire enemies. Uh, you'll do increased damage against water enemies, but uh, fire enemies not so much. Um, physical enemies, it doesn't necessarily matter which one you have. Since they'll both be doing a good bit of damage to both of them. But... Uh, in the sense of, uh, I realize you guys can't see my cursor, but, uh, so this far right one, legendary 12, is, uh, the vacuum to the sword, and the one to, just to the left of that is the energy weapon I was talking about, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, for, for the, uh, for versatility, I would say you go for the, the energy weapon, the one I was talking about. The one uh, second to last, if you're going right. Um, yeah, third one from the right, basically. But uh, or second one from the right, far right. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> but this blue one, obviously, you can see the blue blade on it. Uh, that's the one you'd probably want to go for. Uh, in terms of heroes, if we buy a hero one, obviously we're not going to need this hero. But, if you want it, you know, in my in my case, I have to unselect it, but in your case, if it's a hero like that and you want it, you can go ahead and get it. But see, look at that. After my first pull, I got a Legendary Survivor, which is cool. That's a trap durability, I think, which is actually one I want. Oh, I'm going to get that. But you see how it goes. You're going to want to take your chances with the Llamas. And, uh, you may be able to get stuff you want. This is the Avenger Tech Slicer, the weapon I was talking about. But it's going to scrap both of them, so no matter which one I get, it won't scrap these ones, though. So I'm going to have to scrap it for myself. Okay. And now we're back to, like, a regular, you know, Upgrade Llama. Upgrade Llamas are usually what you want to get for heroes. I know there are times when it's not just melee llamas, it's hero llamas, survivor llamas. It's smorgabord llama stuff like that. So, uh, actually, see where he fits in. I need the Dreamer Squad. Dreamers. I need Trap Durability guys, which it looks like I have two of already. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to swap my shield bonus. Oh, wrong guy. I'm going to swap my shield bonus for my trap bonus. Oh, sorry. Change. Select. And I could upgrade him. Max amount, basically. It is going to make my... As you can see, the top left. It makes my... Uh, it made my power level go down. Which is fine. Obviously, it's not... Permanent, it didn't go down like it didn't change necessarily. It went down, but it went back up to the same percentage it was previously. And that's just because they're the same rarity. They're, they're not leveled up past 140, past 130, sorry. So, um, I don't necessarily have an effect on them. Oh, uh, if you're in the Plankerton area now, obviously, you're gonna have uh, probably a little bit better. Material because the map is bigger you have more chances of getting better You know better stuff 
Wall dynamo, another trap. You don't have traps. It's something to get. Uh, two more weapons. Stampede isn't necessarily better than the previous shotgun I, I showed as reward. But it's alright. Those two weapons are kind of bad. Uh, it's giving me a lot of uncommon perk up. Which is always good to stack up on when you're low level as well. Because you're going to need uncommon, you're going to need epic, legendary, rare. You're going to need all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of stuff. This is a good one to play. 28. See electric field, melee, uh, melee life leech, ice storm. The mini llamas one are also good to play. If you see any mini llama missions, those are good. Those will give you gold. And they give, uh, in one llama, you can get, uh, what is it? I think the lowest is 60. And the highest you can get is 200 from a mini llama. Um, it usually gives two gold drops per mini llama, so you can get like a, a 30 and a 30, or a 15 and a 30, or two 100s, you know, and that's good. The slice and dice, okay, that's a decent, that's a decent one get, you can get. You can make that energy as well, so it'll do damage to a broad amount of enemies, you know, in this area there are different, there are different, uh, I was going to say different flavors of enemies. But I guess I'll go with flavors, yeah. Different different types of flavors, I would say, of enemies, you know, water, nature, fire, and physical, which are the standard ones. Um But yeah, that's kinda how you would get weapons. Obviously, if you guys need help doing any of these missions, I could help you do these missions. It's not it's not a big thing. Uh, I don't necessarily have to build too much. It's kind of just helping you watch out for the enemies, really. Um, if you're in the canny area, now each area, another too many llamas, each area has a different amount of missions. Obviously, this place has a lot of missions you can do. There's a bunch of limited time ones you can do as well. This one's a really good one to play just because it has a uh, an electric field. It's not too difficult of a mission as well. It looks like uh, Nature, Metal Corrosion, Quickened, and Adept Ninjas. And you don't always have to play to what the, you know, the blue one is. Like, you don't have to be a ninja in this case. Uh, you could be a constructor, and you can use Brick. Since you would probably have to use Brick in this mission since it's Nature Enemies and Metal Corrosion. If you don't know, Water does more damage to Brick. Nature does more damage to Metal Structures. And uh, the physical ones, it doesn't really matter, right? The physical ones, you can have any sort of a, uh, uh, you know, building element on it, and it will do, or it'll do a standard amount of damage, basically. But uh, that's one to do, just because the ceiling electric field. It's not a hard mission; you can do it yourself. Let's see, is there another mission you could do? This one is okay. It's a limited time one. Swish real slugger. Some of the ones are. are Somewhat worth it just because of the the perk up you can get from it. Obviously, like I said before, you're going to want to save up on perk up. Ooh, that gives a random epic survivor. So, you see, you want to pay attention to what um, missions are available. Just so you can get, you know, better loot. Alright. Uh, this one gives a copper disintegrator. A Vintertech disintegrator. I call it disintegrator. Um... Just because I don't want to say Vidyatek Disintegrator. It's a Vidyatek weapon. This one's alright. Uh, later game, it's probably not going to be the best. It does do decent damage. But, um... It shoots a projectile. And the projectile is somewhat slow. It shoots like a ball of energy, you can say. Not like the... Not like the Discharger. Discharger shoots a big ball of like AOE that moves, or you can stay, you know, shoot it at the ground and it won't move. This shoots a small blue sort of ball of energy, and it's it's kind of slow, so you do have to lead your shots. If you get this, it does you know do all right damage, but it's a shotgun, so you're gonna want to be close range. This one is one you could do by yourself as well. Um, you can be any 
hero you want. You can have shotgun as well. You can run with shotgun, ninja shotgun, run around and destroy all the enemies. <laughs> but uh, that is this one is also one that's not necessarily good to do because of the weapon. But the weapon, if you're in need of a better shotgun than that purple disintegrator, this one's an upgrade from it. In my opinion, it's better. Um, see a lot of rare perk up. It's the stuff you're gonna need. Fire up you're gonna need is well not necessarily unless you really like fire weapons. Um, those two aren't necessarily worth doing. The pummeler and the vacuum tube rifle aren't necessarily good weapons. Uh oh, that one gives four times eye of the storm. That is a really good one to do. Uh, if you got a team, you can do it over and over. It's a firestorm. You can use metal. So if you got a teammate who has a constructor, you can run a minigun or you can run another constructor and you guys will be set. Tractable floor spikes if you need floor spike traps. There's a lot of missions. Another double mini llama, which is another good one. Um, there are some that give heroes. And I'm going to cut to the website I go to to find all this stuff. Because obviously you can go around and look at this and it does take some time. Uh, even the okay ten rare perk up. All right, I'm gonna cut to the, to the website, and I uh, will see you guys in a second. All right, we're back. Uh, now the website I go to to find all the information, whether it be on the person I'm helping, or it just be on rewards for missions. As you can see, it gives you the rewards in a variety of missions. You want uh, you know you want weapons, or you want to do weapons specific. You want guns. You want melees. Traps, mini llamas, upgrade llamas. This is heroes. This is lead survivors. This is survivors. And as you can see, Adventures 140 is a lead survivor. Another lead survivor. There's a hero trapped to a headhunter. Uh, and a 94, actually. I don't have 94s yet. Um, let's see. Adventures, Adventures, Adventures. Twine. Oh, that wasn't Twine? No. It's just another Shrapnel Headhunter in, in Twine. A Twine 132 gives Shrapnel Headhunter. But if you guys are new, obviously you're going to be looking down here. To Stonewood, Plankerton, you know, SP, C, Canny, Twine, and Adventures. Okay, so. Uh, Blue Survivors aren't bad. Obviously, you're going to upgrade. So having them for a time being is fine. Don't worry about it, guys. Mini Llamas are great. Look at that. Plankerton, 28 Mini Llama, 19 Mini Llama. Wall Dynamo under 19 as well. So if you guys got that 19 zone with the Wall Dynamo, that's perfect. Let's see. Uh, there's a bunch of weapons. Stinger, Stampede. The Stingers are very good. Thrashers are very good. Uh, Stampede is alright. But it is not better than the uh, Panther. The Panther, in my opinion, is better just because of its... Uh, it's damage and fire rate. The Thrasher has a... Well, the Thrasher could have a similar... The uh, Thrasher, the uh, Stampede could have a similar fire rate. But I think the Panther will have a little bit more damage. Let's see. Slice and Dice in the 23 for Stone Plankerton. They're in Plankerton, sorry. Slice and Dice, Electric Crew, Wild Animal. Those are traps you can get. Uh, heroes, obviously. Unfortunately, there's no heroes in these zones but that that does change right it's not always um it's not always the same stuff every time it changes in the 24-hour period these are the amount of xps you can get per zone all the way down at the bottom and uh let's see survivor you can get thirteen thousand or a thousand you know a thousand oh it's not total sorry i don't think that's total is it? it? It might be total in terms of... Uh, oh no, those are the missions that give it in the amount you can get per mission. Sorry. Sorry. You can do a 15 four times, retrieve data, and you get 1,300 with schematic XP. You do a 9 to get more schematic XP. You do a 5 four times. I call them four times because it's four player plus, so I just say four times. 
since it's going to be four times difficult, which is why you need four players. Unless you're doing it yourself, that's why it's four times. Um, but yeah, this is your XP, the XP you can get. If you want to see Ventures information, you just click here. Ventures information, these are the store, the llama store. This is what's in the llama shop, that's what I showed earlier. If you're, you know, higher, then this is, you know, you also look at this. There are no V-Book missions. I don't know if that still applies to some people. But uh, this is the total survivor XP you can get. Total tickets you can get. This is the total of everything. I thought down there it was total for some reason, but it's not. It's just per mission. That's a per mission uh, basis per zone. Ventures. It'll take you to another tab. This is all the venture information. Okay. Uh... 1 to 50, you don't have to play over 50, 50 is when you're done. If you're low level, you probably don't have to, you don't have to worry about ventures. This is the mission unlock. So you'll unlock 10. Well, at 10, you'll unlock 23 missions at 11, 34, 15, 46, 20, 58, so on and so on. I'm kind of between the 28 and 31 right now. Um, and you can check my stuff as well. It's empty right now, but... Um, my epic is my at, and my Xbox username is my channel name. So, if you ever need that information, uh, I got a. <laughs> I'm watching another YouTuber. That's why I have the tab open. <laughs> it's an old video, but uh, you know, I know I rewatch his content. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, it goes to show if you have a higher level, you can obviously get uh, higher level items, but. If you want to progress, you're going to have to start slow. And if you're in Stonewood, that means you're slowly working your way up, getting these, you know, survivors, getting higher level power, getting high power, getting becoming a higher power level, sorry. <laughs> um, getting mini llamas for gold, getting whatever traps you can get, because they're not always going to be all blue. I think, I think for Stonewood, you actually might get all blue. But that's fine, right? You just need them to get to higher power level so you can do the missions. The missions will be easier. You do more, you know, you do more damage if you're higher power level, especially if you put them in your squads that you know help you do damage. And um, you know, it shouldn't, especially if you just uh, follow kind of the advice I showed you. You gain power level higher. You you gain uh, you know, more survivors. And I know this kind of turns into a survivor mission and like kind of weapon. Progression trap progression, but um, that's really one of the ways that you're that you're gonna level up is by leveling your power level, which will help you unlock better missions, which will help you you know get more gold, which can help you get better rolls in um, your llamas, right? You're gonna be spending a lot of uh, tickets on llamas. And gold can help you get a legendary survivor every event. Every event. Or if not, then you use this method to just gain higher power level. Which um, will help you gain, you know, skirmish or edge. Or just do your quests, right? Pro progress through your quests. I, I don't remember the quest lines or them or what heroes and stuff you get for them. I do know you get some heroes for them. You get gold and all this other stuff. Evolution material at times. Um, but yeah, get your power level up. And uh, progress through your quests. I know sometimes you're boring and tedious. Go get this. Go do these missions. Stuff like that. That's basically how it is throughout the entire time you play. It's not necessarily going to change. The missions may. But uh, it won't always change. You know, get your survivors up. Level them up. Uh, get higher power level. And you'll you slowly you know you'll progress. It, it might not be slow, especially if you play pubs. Sometimes that does help. Um, I know this is a little confusing, but if you need help navigating the site, it's just you know this. You click that. This is all the survivors you can get, all the lead survivors you can get. Gadgeteer, legendary one twenty four ventures, which is the you know what I mean. The highest right now for a hero is ninety four. That's not always true. Upgrade Llama, Mini Llamas, a bunch of Mini Llama missions, Blankerton, Candy, Twine, Ventures. 
This is just weapons in general. It's not specific. But if you want specific weapons, like you want guns only, then here's all the guns. If you want, you know, melees only, here's all the melees. If you want traps only, these are all the traps. See, so it's a 5 wall launcher, 19 wall dynamo. Wall launchers are pretty cool. You can get inventive with those, you know, push enemies off cliffs, push enemies off edges, push enemies away from your objective, and uh, help yourself get more time. And you can reset the searches like that. You can pick which zone or what, you know, what rarity enemies just by selecting them. If you're on the computer or phone, it's probably pretty easy. Uh, if you're on the console, it's probably going to be a little weird because, you know, the cursor is a big little round thing. But, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically it. You're going to want the, <laughs> you're going to want to level yourself up, get better missions. Hopefully get tickets. And uh, upgrade llamas will get you tickets. Right? So if you have an upgrade llama, it might give you 50, but that's fine, right? You still have dailies you can do. The dailies, um, what is it? Like 140, 100, uh, 200, 220, I don't know. You can get, you can get up to three daily missions. I think if you're around my level, you can stack them to three. They don't stack higher than three. You don't get three daily missions a day. You get one daily mission a day, obviously. But they can stack to three. Um, you can also see the animes I'm watching up there. <laughs> Zombie 100. I'm actually that strong. Undead murder farce. Uh, Reign of Seven Spellblades. I'm watching a Korean drama too. It's kind of funny. And there's a new anime, Berserk of Gluttony. Uh... They're pretty good if you like anime, and hell yeah, too, you know, I see you, but <laughs> that is probably going to have to be it for this video, guys, I do hope it helped you in further getting your heroes, further getting your survivors, your weapons, that sort of thing, and uh, if you have questions or need a bit of help, let me know, I'm available like almost every day, basically every other day. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.